This is the OPAT video for caregiver training for home-based infusion using a burette. Today, we will be demonstrating each of the steps that you will need to take to safely administer the antibiotic at home. While this video aims to help training, you will still require hands-on sessions with our nurses to ensure that you are confident to carry this out safely at home. We will now proceed to go through each of the individual steps. Step 1. Practicing the 7 steps of hand washing. Rub hands palm to palm. Rub the back of both hands. Rub palm to palm fingers interlaced. Rub back of fingers to opposing palms or fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of thumb in the opposite palm. Rotational rubbing back and forth on the opposite palm. Wrap hand over the opposing wrist and use rotational movements up to the mid forearm. When done, rinse hands and dry off well with a paper towel. Step 2. Prepare the equipment. For this you will need one burette. Two 10 ml syringes, one 5 ml syringe, two vials of 20 ml of normal saline, one vial of 5 ml of heparinized saline, one pint of normal saline, one needle, one yellow cap. 4 alcohol swabs and the antibiotic. Before starting, check that the name and IC number are correct and that the antibiotic name is the one prescribed by your doctor. Check the expiry date and the seal which should not be broken or damaged. Step 3. Preparing the drip set. Open a new burette set. Do not reuse an old set. Peel the metallic strip that protects the normal saline pint. Clamp the top and bottom clamps of the drip line. Remove the protective covering of the sharp end and pierce it through the rubber bung of the normal saline pint. Check that the line is fully clamped. Hang the pint of normal saline on a hook. and clamp the top line. Allow 30 ml of normal saline to fill the burette and clamp the top line again. Squeeze the chamber below the burette until it is half filled. And clamp the lower line to prime it and check that at least one drop of normal saline flows out at the end. This is an important step to ensure there are no air bubbles in the system. During preparation of the equipment, no part of the drip system should touch the environment. Step 4. Preparing the antibiotic. Perform hand rub. Open a new 10 ml syringe. Open a new needle. Open a new alcohol swab and use it to clean the seal of the normal saline vial and then break the seal to open it. Use a no-touch technique 
to connect the syringe and needle. Draw out 10 ml of normal saline from the vial. Expel any air that is in the syringe. Break the seal of the antibiotic. Inject the normal saline into the vial. Shake the vial to mix it well. Continue to mix until the solution is clear and there are no remaining sediments. Draw up the reconstituted antibiotic. Wipe the burette with an alcohol swab. Inject the antibiotic into the burette. Carefully dispose the needle when you are done. Unclamp the top line and fill the burette so that it reaches the 100 ml mark. Clamp the top line again when it reaches the 100 ml mark. Step 5. Preparing for line flushing. Open a new alcohol swab and then open a new 10 ml syringe. Use the alcohol swab to clean the seal of a new vial of normal saline and break the seal to open it. Draw up 10 ml of normal saline into the syringe. Expel any air that is in the syringe. Replace the syringe back in its pack. Perform hand rub before touching the line. Step 6. Line flushing. Take a new alcohol swab to clean the PICC port before uncapping it. Clean the exposed port as well. Connect the 10 ml syringe of normal saline to the port. Unclamp the PICC. Use the syringe to gently withdraw from the PICC. There should be no resistance. Look for backflow as well. Gently flush the line. There should be no resistance. Clamp the PICC when flushing is done. Step 7. Giving the antibiotic. Remove the syringe from the port. Uncap the drip line. Connect the drip securely to the port.
There should be no leakage at the connection site. Unclamp the PICC line. Unclamp the bottom clamp of the lower line. Check that the antibiotic is dripping from the burette into the chamber to ensure that it is running smoothly. Do not run the antibiotic too quickly as reactions can develop. Monitor for any rash, itching, breathlessness, face or eye swelling throughout the administration of the antibiotic. If there is any reaction or if you feel unwell, stop the infusion immediately by clamping the drip line and the PICC line. Step 8. Post-infusion flushing. When the infusion has completed, the burette will be empty. Clamp the bottom clamp of the drip line. Unclamp the top clamp off the drip line to fill the burette with 20 ml of normal saline. Clamp the top line when done. Unclamp the bottom clamp off the drip line. When the burette is empty, clamp the bottom clamp of the drip line and then clamp the PICC line. Step 9. Flushing with heparinized saline. For this, a 5 ml syringe is used. Perform hand rub. Open a new 5 ml syringe. Open a new alcohol swab and use it to clean the seal of the heparinized saline valve before breaking it. Use the 5 ml syringe to draw up 5 ml of heparinized saline. Expel any air bubbles that may be in the syringe. Check that the PICC is clamped. Clean the PICC port with an alcohol swab and disconnect the drip from the port. Connect the 5 ml syringe securely to the PICC port. Unclamp the PICC. Gently flush 5 ml of heparinized saline into the PICC. There should be no resistance. This will help to maintain the patency of the PICC line to prevent it from getting blocked. Clamp the PICC line when done. Use a new yellow stopper and use it to cap the PICC port. Check that there is no leakage and then cover the PICC line ports with a gauze dressing. This is a summary of the steps for home-based infusion using a burette for OPAT. Step 1. The 7 steps of hand washing. Step 2. Prepare the equipment. Step 3. Prepare the drip set. Step 4. Prepare the antibiotic. Step 5. Prepare for line flushing. Step 6. Flushing the line. 
Step 7. Giving the antibiotic. Step 8. Post-infusion flushing. Step 9. Flushing with heparinized saline. We hope that this video has been helpful to you in learning how to give this antibiotic safely at home. Our nurses will be happy to answer any questions that you may have in the course of your hands-on training sessions. Thank you for watching.